So what is going on guys? Welcome to the channel. Uh, in this video, I'm going to share with you probably why you are not making the money that you want to be making in the life insurance industry. Okay, there was a time in my business for the first three months really, I was doing exactly what I was told to do. I was buying the shared leads, I was doing the dials, I was doing the work and chargebacks came in. Bad business was being written. I was on the leaderboards and I was going down quick. I was scared. I was scared in my moment. And you might feel like, man, I got in the life insurance industry to make all this money. Why is it not happening? When I got in the insurance industry, it was simply because I was told if I sit in my chair, I will pick up some leads, I make some phone calls, I can make $40,000 per month. Why? Why not do that? But the reason is, and what I want to share with you guys in this video is the reason why people do not make money in this industry and ultimately i'm going to share with you how i made two simple changes and how i went from losing thousands of dollars to making ten thousand dollars plus per month on my own pen and then ultimately right now building a a life insurance agency where we're doing multiple six figures per month selling life insurance i want to tell you all the lessons keep it real keep it 100 with you guys because no one is willing to share this stuff and i'm passionate to want to serve you guys and help you guys in the industry so the real reason that you're not making the money well let me backtrack here the reason i make this video is i got a call about three days ago some guy's like man i'm jumped back in the life insurance industry i have a I have a daughter and i have a wife and what i literally had to do is i had to sell our com our car our family car to buy leads because my ump line told me to do it i lost all this money i couldn't pay back and now i don't have a car and i am stuck so right now if you feel hopeless if you feel concerned i want to share with you why you are not making money and that story motivated me to make this video because number one the product the reason you're not making the money that you desire want to make that you thought you could make is because your product is terrible okay so let me break this down for you there's two ways that your product is sucks okay first way is you are not good i sucked at first i didn't know how to sell i didn't know even what final expense life insurance was i didn't even know how to communicate to people I kid you not, when I got started in the life insurance industry, my trainer told me to ask for someone's social security number in the first two minutes. Before we can jump into this, I want to make sure I have the right person on the phone. Can you verify your social security number? And if I would have did that my whole life, if I would have done that for the next six months, I would have made no money on a failed out of the industry. But the problem is that we come in, we get guided, we get put into this new position, this new opportunity vehicle with no training and no actual understanding of how someone actually has made or been successful. And then we're told to kind of figure this out by someone who's never been successful. So the reason that you are not getting the results that you desire or the money that you make is because you just don't know how to sell. You don't have the right training. You don't have the right products. You don't have the right fulfillment. You don't have the right tonality. You don't have the right question asking framework. You don't have the right objection handling skills. You have haven't developed all these core skills that make you a successful life insurance agent and you're expecting to make all this money okay so i want you to know that you can learn those you can train those but the most important thing if i had to restart and my mission is to help life insurance agents is to train them because i can give you guys all the leads you can come in i'm going to find the right agency that has the best leads that has the best systems i don't i just want the best leads but if you yourself doesn't know what you're selling if you yourself has no com absolutely no communication skills if you have never sold a product in your whole entire life and you don't even know how to speak to a person i can give you someone who is ready to buy but if they don't believe in you that you're going to sell them an invisible product that's going to protect their family then you're not going to buy and guess what you're not going to make money okay so the reason is you need to fix you and you need number one the quickest way to fix you is to find a leader who's actually gone really gone to where you want to go and has real evidence has real data has real testimonies of hey this person actually has what i want let's go ahead and follow them but the problem is i jumped into an imo where the people that were leading me had no idea what i was doing had no idea like how to even become successful and i was bet betting on them okay so the first problem is that you are not good at what you need you need new training you need more leadership and you need to develop more skills okay second thing crucial crucial point why your product sucks okay so number one is that you are part of the product and actually part of the product is also the customer fulfillment okay this is something that puzzled me for the longest time why are people you know charging back why are people canceling their policy why are people not making their first payment why are people not you know you know fulfilling their product like they wanted the life insurance what's going on and it's because i didn't realize that you have to have a fulfillment you know everyone talks about life insurance that you need to get your life insurance license you just sell pick up the phone make some life insurance sales and you're just going with your day and all the money just comes flooding into the insurance company 
That's not how it works. You have to sell a product. So you have to sell yourself and then you have to sell a product and then you have to fulfill that product to make a customer happy, a little happy face there so that they can continue to pay for their policy so that you can get paid continually. Okay, let me break that down for your customer service. Three things that you don't know about customer service that you need to know. Number one, um, you're selling an invisible product that people need to have fulfilled. Number one, what you need to have is you need to have some communication with the people that you've sold to, okay? So after you sell a life insurance policy, are you reaching out? Miss Betty, did you get your life insurance policy? Miss Betty, it's great talking to you. I know you you know, you know, know, bought a life insurance policy last month, but did you get your policy? Did the policy come in? Do you have any questions about your policy? But the problem we get caught up in the leaderboards, the problem was for me, the reason that you're not making the money is you're getting po- caught up in the next sale rather than taking care of your previous sales, okay? The second thing is you need to handle any concerns that your clients have, okay? When the policy doesn't come in and Miss Betty calls you and you don't answer and you're not there for her, what is she gonna do? She is going to cancel. She is going to find another person who's gonna take care of her, who's gonna be there for her and she's gonna basically say, peace out, I have no commitment. This guy called me once, I sold, he sold me a life insurance policy and he expects me to stay and he's not gonna pick up my phone calls, chargeback city, okay? So the, the customer service side is not being fulfilled. The touch points that you need, the check-ins, the phone calls, the Merry Christmas messages, the Happy New Year's, the birthday text messages, a drip text every two to three months is what we've implemented to make sure our clients stay on the books so that we can fulfill and have a happy customer who pays our paychecks, okay guys? I want you guys to remember this. You are the product on the sales side, but also you have to deliver the product. You have to make sure the product gets them. You gotta make sure they like the product. You gotta make sure their family is on board with the product and then you got to de- deliver the product as well and the third reason that you are not making the money that you want to be making uh, a part of this you as the product your product sucks you are the product you don't know how to sell the second step is you don't know how to fulfill the product and the third reason is you are just selling a bad product okay let me explain to you what a bra- bad product looks like and i think it's underlooked it's not really talked about because people think that they're doing the best thing for their families or doing the best things for these people they're not okay if you're putting people in waiting periods if you're putting people with expensive products when they can be replaced if you're putting people in bad policies because they're not underwritten correctly. If you are selling life insurance products that don't have the best benefit of the client, but you're thinking about your commission or what you're going to grab or com- or make from that policy, you are selling bad products. To build a sustainable business, if I could do it all over again, I would think about how can I design or find the best product for someone's health conditions? How can I find the best product for someone's situation? And how can I design a product for someone who's going to stay with me for the rest of their life? And that is the reason where we get stuck with these IMOs or you get pushed these products and you're told only sell this, only sell this. Who cares if it's best for the product? Believe in the product, believe in the product. And then one day you are going to wake up and realize, dang, I didn't do what's best for the the client. And it's weird. They charge back or they left or I got the text. I found a cheaper, or better policy or they're going to say, oh man, I don't need the policy because I found something better. And if you are not designing your products, if you're not working with a company that's giving you the best products to actually sell that you can believe in, your whole sales process of who you are is going to be you know, influenced. If you're not going to understand how to fulfill that product to the best of your ability because the product that you sell sucks, you're going to be scared of the client. You're not going to listen to the when they call back. When they call you, you're going to think they're going to be replacing your product. You're going to think, man, they probably found something better. I'm not going to pick up this call. I was there. And then lastly, if you're not selling products that are literally best or designed for people's situations, their health conditions, their income, not designed for, you know, what type of policy they're looking for and their needs, they are going to leave. So the reason that you're making a lot of mistakes and losing money and getting the chargebacks guys and you know thinking that you could you know make all this money but you're not it's because you need to make a lot of different improvements and i went through this guys i lost a ton of money i remember sitting there thinking how am i gonna make this work open up my computer chargeback lead bill comes out why are these these are better leads i'm gonna buy this lead course my whole business is gonna change it didn't and the and the and the and the pain and the continual pressure built up and the continual mistakes built up because I didn't have these situate things ironed out. So a lot of people right now are like, man, buy the next lead course, it's gonna change your business, or go to this new IMO, it's gonna give you the highest commission, it's gonna change your business, or you know, try this new platform or this new next thing that's gonna change your business, complete BS. You are the product, guys. I'm gonna end with this. You as the agent with what's out there in the MLM models, they are literally trying to take advantage of you. They're coming for your pockets in a way, okay? A lot of these IMOs are not structured to make you successful because think about it, they don't have the training in place to make you better. They don't have you know, the people that are leading you and guiding that have helped you get to where you wanna be. So they're gonna bring you in and supposedly you're gonna be that next person, doesn't make sense. 
Secondly, they're going to probably sell you some type of lead course or some training course. They're going to sell you something with whatever you are because you are desperate. You are needy. You are getting hit with the chargebacks. You're not making the money. And you think you can make 40 grand, but you're like, man, I'm only making 1000 or I'm losing 6000 I need to buy something that's going to fix this all. I've done it. I've done it. I've been there. I've spent $6,000 on a course that I did absolutely nothing for me, okay? And the third thing is that your IMO, your leaders are going to say, sell this product, sell this product, sell this product. And you're going to sell the product. You're not going to believe in the product. It's not going to be the best for the product. They're going to place it. And you're not going to have the conviction in the product anymore. And they're going to say, where's my policy at? You're not going to answer them. They're going to say, you know, where is, you know, you know, what's going on with this policy? Can you answer? And you're so flooded about finding the next client because your bank account's depleting and you need to make the next sale and you've neglected your previous clients and your clients are not getting fulfilled. So what happens, you lose money. It's this never ending loop of waking up, oh my gosh, stress, scared to open up the computer. How am I gonna make this thing work? And all of a sudden it's all because of you need to be fixed, your customers need to be fulfilled and ultimately you need to find products that you actually believe in so they can build something that you actually are behind so that you can make money. So here's the real reason why you are not making money in the life insurance industry. I'm gonna share with you the side of the industry no one's able or willing to share. Love you guys, hope this helped you, help you understand the possibilities and if you can iron these out, you can make a ton of money. You can do so well for yourself, but just think about these three things here so that you can perform, that you can make more money and you can succeed in the life insurance industry. Love you guys. Take care. Peace out. Cheers.